1993 classic The Sandlot is a movie known for its memorable lines, like, You're killing me, Smalls. And of course, You play ball like a girl! And perhaps my personal favorite, Don't be a goofus. Don't be a goofus. Don't be a goofus. While the movie is beloved by many, it probably doesn't come to mind when thinking about spiritual disciplines. In this movie, I want to talk about what Squince Palador has taught me about fasting. If you've seen the movie, you know that the pool scene is iconic and unforgettable. But for those of you who haven't seen the movie or who haven't seen it in a while, let me break it down for you. So the guys are at the pool, hanging out, having a great time, when Squints gets out of the pool and heads directly to the diving board without hesitation. The rest of the guys are bewildered and saying things like, what is he doing? Where is he going? And everyone's favorite yes man, yeah, yeah, alerts us that Squints, Squints can't swim. So at this point, it seems really unclear to why Squints is going to the deep end off the diving board, both to the guys and to the audience, because we found it clear that he cannot swim. So why is he putting himself in purposeful danger in a place where it's very uncomfortable, where he cannot swim? Squints can't swim! It's not until he's rescued by the beautiful Wendy Peppercorn, the lifeguard on duty, whom Squints has a crush on, that his plan becomes clear. The guy purposely drowns himself just so he can be saved by her and get some quality time on the side of the pool. Not to mention, have the opportunity to steal a kiss. Now I will say, in 1962 when this film is based, maybe that could fly, but do not try this at home. That is a lawsuit waiting to happen in 2019, but hey, you gotta shoot your shot, right? So maybe you're asking, Carson, what does this story of borderline statutory rape have to do with fasting? Well, I'm glad you asked. In my church, and like many churches across the world, we're participating in 21 days of fasting and prayer, setting apart the very first of the year to seek and encounter God while going without food. And while fasting is great and there's so many benefits and breakthroughs, I think it's really easy and simple for the church and Christians to slip back into the idea and forget what fasting is and what fasting isn't, what the purpose of it is and what it is not, that we have to look at it more than just not eating for God. I believe Squint's actions illustrate a heavenly principle and give us a visual to what's going on when we're fasting. Track with me here. Squint purposely goes into the deep end and jumps off the diving board. He puts himself in a place of uncomfortability, a place where he can do nothing for himself, all because of the sheer fact and promise of who he will meet in the deep end. Now, if that doesn't sound like fasting, I don't know what does. In James 4.10, it says, humble yourselves and the Lord will lift you up. When we humble ourselves in fasting, we're purposely going without food and putting ourselves into a place of weakness, all because of the promise of who we're gonna meet in the deep end. For Squints, it was Wendy Peppercorn. For us, it's Jesus and the encounter of his Holy Spirit. See, Squint's desire to meet Wendy Peppercorn more than he desired to be comfortable in the shallow end. So when we humble ourselves in fasting, we're giving God the opportunity to lift us up. We're giving God the opportunity to draw close to us and to come closer than we had previously allowed him. And we're giving him permission to breathe breath back into our lungs. If I'm sticking with the whole sandlot analogy, I know it's a little much. But when we fast, we give God the opportunity to draw close to us and to give breakthrough in our lives. For those of you that are fasting right now, let this serve as an encouragement that through these 21 days, as you're walking in humility, walking in weakness, and walking in a season of being uncomfortable, know that it's all predicated on the promise of meeting Jesus there in the deep end. And he so desires and loves your ambition to jump head first, not looking back knowing you can't do anything for yourself and allowing him to draw close to you. So for those of you that haven't started a fast or you're still not sure about this whole thing, I pray that you give it a chance, give it an idea. No matter how good a lifeguard Wendy Peppercorn is, Jesus blows her out of the water, no pun intended. But to think that God would let you down in this season of putting yourself in purposeful weakness, it just isn't gonna happen. God is so faithful and he wants to meet you in this season. So I encourage you, whether it's a liquid, Daniel, or even a soul fast, give up something, walk in a way that's humble, and see how God will draw close to you and bring breakthrough in your life. So that's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and share the video if you enjoyed it. I pray that this 21 days of fasting and prayer is amazing for you and your church. I hope you guys stay awesome, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Hey, go, do the best. Uh -huh.